Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. This is Tuesday, June 18th, 2024. And I notice right off the bat, I have three twos looking into box two, so I can place the two immediately and then follow up on it in column six. The two sixes have one position left since I placed the two, so I can place the six in box two, but I can't follow up on the six. And that's it for the top rows. The middle rows, as far as repeats, I can place the four in column three, box four. And I'll get the nine in two places in box six, row four. On the bottom rows, I'm going to get a seven in row seven, box eight. And an eight in two of those three spots. The same three as where seven goes. If I switch to the left columns, I can place a seven in column three and an eight in column three, but in boxes four and one respectively. Six, eight, seven, seven, nine, one, eight, two, four. Okay, I place an eight and a seven, I'm done. In the middle, Let's see, I get a nine in two spots in column four. Beyond that, six, four, five, two, one, three, I think I'm done. And on the right, oh, I can place a five in column eight, box six. Three, four, eight, two, seven, six, five. So I'm done with digits at this point. Now, I need a nine in row three, but three of the five spots are out. So I know where nine virtually goes, and therefore I know where nine goes in row one. One, four, five, eight, nine. I need two, three, six, and seven for row six which I can go ahead and fill in. And I don't get much out of it. But I need two, three, six, seven in box four also, but five rather. And this one can't be two, so it's three, six, seven. Oh, but it's C6 also. That one can be anything. So can this one. Okay, column six is about the only place left where a two, three, six, seven can work, but I don't think I have that. That's down to three or seven. Actually, I'm more than that. Only three things of that cell sees at the top right of box two are two, six, and nine so far. Not very efficient. Two, five, six, seven. Okay, uh, three has to be one of those two. Three's up here. Two, five, six, seven. I need one. Three, four, eight, nine. For the rest of row three. Am I gonna get anything useful out of it? No, oh, that's these one, three, eight, nine. That's a hidden four. Okay, that may help a lot. Two, three, five, six. I need one, four, seven, eight, nine for box three. That one can be anything but four or eight. Is one, four, seven or eight? It's not nine. This one can't be two, three, six, or nine. 
with seven and eight both out of those, that can't be one, and that's not seven. We're four. Oh, well, interesting. This can't be seven, that can't be seven. I know where seven in row two goes, and I probably should have seen that before I filled in the rest of the row, but there's a one nine in column seven that says that the eight is placed in the column and the four. Column eight. Row three is reduced to a one three, which will place the nine and the one in column seven. That one's gone. Four places the five, one eight. Row two. Let's see, one three, so that one isn't three. One, two, three, four, six, nine. Okay, these are five, seven, and eight. That gives me a triple in row one. I need three, four, and nine to fill out the rest of row one and the top of the grid. I've got one, three, and three, seven in column four. And there's a seven, eight. Do I have a quadruple there? in the column. I don't know, but column 5 might be easier. I only have three digits left. They are 5, 7, and 6. And they form a triple. I don't can't resolve them yet. These cells are rather restricted. They can't be 1, 5, 7, 8, 9. They are from 2, 3, uh, 1, 4, 5, 7, 8, 9. They are strictly from 2, 3, 6. That one isn't 1, 2, 3, 5, 7, 8, 9. It's down to 4 or 6. Okay, so I've placed the 2. Column 2, which will place the 2 in column 1. Oh, well, that's not 7 anymore. Column 7 has 6 digits filled in. The ones I'm missing are 2, 6, and 7. Well, that's any of them, unfortunately. Okay, is row 8 going to give me enough where I might not have to fill in the rest? We'll see. 2, 3, 7, 8. I need 1, 4, 5, 6, 9 to fill out. Either of those are 5. No, not quite. 1 crosses a region. Column 1, I have 1, 6, 7, 8. Already done. Okay, neither of those are 4 or 9. Interesting. Those are 2, 3, 5, and those are 2, 3, 6. Fascinating. Let's see. Neither are 2, 4, or 8. Column 3, and... Or nine. But that's no help. These two can't be two, four, eight. Or seven. And oh, I just found something. <clears throat> three, five, six, nine in column three has a quadruple because one and seven, there's only two spots for it. And looking at box four, there's also only two spots for the one and the seven. Well, that may help me a little bit. Yeah, those two. Okay, these could collectively be anything but four. 
Both of those C5, 6, 7. That sees 9. This sees 8. C7, 8, 9, and 2. Sees 8, 7. That sees a 2. We've got 4 fifths of a 1, 3, 5, 6, 9 quintuple. Oh, but there's only one cell left. In column 8. That's yet to be filled. And I can't come up with anything. That's useful. Yeah, these two cells in column 9 are not 5, 7, or 8. Or 6. And that one's not 1. These four are not two or three, collectively. Now, that one, these four, five, six, as does this one. Take out seven, eight in a row. Takes out one, five, nine. That one takes out nine. This one takes out seven, eight, nine. Hmm. Oh, everything crosses a region. Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. This can't be 8, this can't be 8, this can't be 8, and that can't be 8 by place. I have a hidden 8 in row 5, which has managed to clear up absolutely nothing else. Oh, look at that. 5, 6, 7. Oh, there's a triple. In column 5. It doesn't really do much for me. Okay, we've identified those are two, so these can't be two. Three, five means that's not three or five. And that's not three, and this isn't three. And so I've got two, four, nine, it was a triple in column one. Three five must appear in two of those cells. Unfortunately, that doesn't do anything to resolve the three nine in row one yet. Oh, I wish it did. It doesn't. I've crossed the region column six. That doesn't do me, tell me anything useful. is here and nothing else in the box or column is a five. Okay, I've got four there, but that doesn't do me any good. Oh, oh wait a minute. Okay, this is three five. These can't be three. So that a two six pair in column two resolves the four. That'll resolve the triple in row one. So these are down to two nine. 
all in one, which means none of these are nine. Or that one isn't four. Let's see, nine's down to two places in row eight, which rules out the three other positions in the box. I now have a three, six pair in column eight. So I can remove three and six from all the other cells. That gives me a one, nine pair column eight. So that's not one. This is the only, no. Two, six, three, six, and two, three, four. I don't quite have enough to disambiguate. I've, held, I've got four different pairs of digits in row four. That's fascinating. What an obvious thing am I missing? Two and nine. Five, six pair on the diagonal in box eight, so that's not five or six. That one isn't six. So importantly, that's not six, that's seven. I'll mark this, I'll mark this as green, sort of. Figure out, sort of need to deduce that now. Eight nine four eight one four and one nine. Well, the seven will resolve the five. Yeah, whoops. Put this in the right column. All the five, which will resolve the five six. Row one is now down to a seven eight six, and row nine resolves a two. Before pair in column nine resolve where the two goes. Column nine, that leaves me with a six, seven. Column seven, which resolves the three and the six in column eight. The six in row seven resolves the three, and that'll take care of the triple in column three. We'll finish box seven, and now I should be away. Now I'm just resolving pairs of things. And triples, and I have enough clues left. I've figured out the break-in. Voila, <laughs> not my usual pace, but I still managed to finish it in under 20 minutes. I'll take it.